Alright guys, here's your inside portion. So, new furnace, new coil, new media. Return drop will probably stay. It's actually in a properly sized. So, we'll need to rework it over and then. If you're looking up, that's one floor joist, that's the other. They didn't tie them together anywhere that I can see in here. So, what I end up doing is I'm going to take probably an 8 or 10 inch duct and just duct it over. So, it ties into there. We may end up doing a new lower section of drop. Uh, limited on space, can't go any further this way due to a gas line in the chimney here. So we're gonna have furnace, spacer, media, kind of connect to the drop. We'll probably, uh, I'll have the filler either made or you can make it on site. Tie it back into the ductwork. Line set will get flushed, clean it up a little bit, make it look a little nicer. We have a flu Y currently. When you change that to a flu T, liner's already in place. No walkout, but if you go right up those steps, that goes to the outside. So easy access. Handles here. Floor drain is right by that uh, PVC pipe that's over there. So currently, they just got a condensate pump. Line runs up and over, just kind of across the ceiling. It actually looks like it just sprays out against the wall. So we just need to run that down to the floor drain. Uh, watch your head, short basement. All right, guys, here's your unit outside. Place AC, uh, level new pad, I'm assuming. Uh, I'll talk to them about, they've got a hose spigot here leaking. So I'm gonna check inside, see if they got a shut off for it. If not, we may end up replacing that and putting a shut off inside. Because otherwise they could end up with a bigger issue than this out here new disconnect new whip yeah you got easy access get back here you park in the street and also park in the driveway but driveway is pretty skinny so i do got a hill down there that you have to come up 